What's up guys, it's RJ with Creo, and today I'm gonna give you a start to finish how to use the amazing paper Magic Touch T1. Now this is a one-step self-weeding, self-cutting paper meant for light uh, or white colored garments. So you do not wanna use this on like a black shirt, a charcoal, a navy blue. The reason why is it's not gonna be as vibrant on the t-shirt as you want to, but it's a great paper, especially if you want to save yourself some time um, as well as a little bit of cost when using. So it's a one step. You see the papers right here. Now a hint, when printing on the T1 paper, I always recommend having more than one sheet of paper in it. It's just gonna help peel or uh, pull the, the paper. Um, the paper is pretty thin, so sometimes if it's just a single sheet on there, the printer doesn't, it can't pull it. So I always load in two if, if I'm printing one. Go over to the laptop before i load my image in i'm going to select in my paper profile the magic touch t1 profile and my size the size paper we're using in this is a4 and you see that i loaded the paper in long side first so i chose the size uh, a4 ls or a a4 long side now that we're ready there Go ahead and load our image in. So my image loaded in uh, basically vertically, but since I'm printing horizontally, I'm gonna go ahead and rotate it here in the rip. And then I'm going to fit it to page to get the most out of my sheet. And then from there, I'm going ahead and hit print. Now that I got my print, we're ready to decorate a shirt. So we go over to the heat press. This, our, our application settings are 300 degrees. It's a 10 second press and you want firm pressure. What I mean by firm is medium to heavy. If you're, uh, if you have the Creo press per se, it's right around a six, seven pressure. Uh, Hotronics, Insta, George Knight, other like that. They're right around the same bar as far as uh, the pressure goes. Or if your heat press doesn't have a readout, what I like to say is two hands. It's gonna take you two hands to close the press. That's how much pressure you need. Now I'm gonna take my design, toner side face down. And like I said, it's a 10 second press. What you're gonna see me do after these 10 seconds, I'm gonna fan it a couple times, lay it down, pop it to release the paper, and then peel it off. So, I simply fan this about three times, pop it quickly, and then peel it off. Nice and smooth. Now our, our, our shirts, our, our sheet of paper is done, all the toner transferred onto the garment, but we aren't done yet. You see, it's got a little bit of a sheen to it. We need to press it with our T-seal or parchment paper. The reason for doing that is this is just sitting on the surface. If we're gonna wash this over time, it's gonna flake off, it's gonna come off. When we use our T-seal sheet, this is reusable up to 500 times. Fully recommend getting a T-seal sheet. We're gonna press this together. All of the wash tests we do, we always T-seal for 30 seconds, but this is going to embed all of that toner inside of the fibers of your T-shirt, whether it's cotton, polyester, half and half, you name it. The T-seal the sheet is gonna be how you're gonna get 30, 40, 50 washes out of your garment before you start to see some cracking or fading. My time is up. I'm gonna go ahead and take off the T-seal. And then we have our finished product. And that is the Magic Touch T1 paper. <laughs>